Hi, it's Jenny. I live in. I was going to say I live in Dorset in the UK. Uh, bit old, flustered. Been up Salisbury. Um, it's the first time been up since March, so it was nice getting out. Um, it's just being Kira and Charlotte's gone into mum and dad's, and um, yeah, so we had a nice girly day out. I bought a new top. Uh, charity shop, and I've got some shorts on, which feels weird because they're shorter than the no normal ones I wear. <laughs> so I go, yeah, got them in the charity shop, got this and that. Um, I went into Pamelan. I am a wee bit hyper. I've had some Lucas Um So, yeah, I, uh, yeah, it happened. <laughs> I was looking forward to going in because I was watching um, Tracy Crochet Rocks, hey Tracy, uh, video with all the lovely colours she got. I didn't have that aqua one in. I really liked that one. Um, but I was happy with what I got. I spent a lot. I spent uh, two, four, six pound on yarn in there. I was just saying if I had the other lot, I got somewhere else I do. And I got that colour. And a nice one, it's um, I've got the glasses on. What colour does that say it is? More or better? Can't read it. Put it up close. But it's got some glitter in. I got one, two of that colour, and I got. Uh, are these the same colour? Mm, no, I've got two of these. What colour does that say? I wish they put it on different paper, it's hard to read. It's baby yarn something. Lana something, can't read it. <laughs> I should put the glasses on. That was pretty. I've got that two of those. I've got that one, that one, and there was sparkly ones. Mm, got a little bit of glitter in. I've got those. I've got two of those. And I got didn't have a lot of this one in the red one. Got one of those because they're all three for two pound. So you just get three of any colour you want. And oh, look at that piece. this probably go. Oh, I've sat on it on me. Um, me retro blanket. I've got this mixed in with different colours in black, so I might put some of that. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. Really likey. I was thinking I was going to go absolutely mad, spend 10 quid on yarn, but I didn't. <laughs> didn't have a great deal with there, so I was a bit. Mm. Uh, so I got those, but I really like that. Really do like that. I was just so glad to get in there again. And also, I came in Manchester. Sorry, came in Manchester, but chocolate happened. You can tell I haven't seen these since March, can't you? Twin pigs. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got twin pigs, poppy candy. I'll be eating that later. Got two of those. That's bent. And got Twin Peaks, one with almond and honey and nougat flavour. Mm. So I was going to get five, but I thought, no, I am better. Because I have also got, not in it, I got two bars of the um, dairy milk Oreo, which I really like in Poundland, so I got two bars of that. And I got Jean Luc two bags of M and M's, salted caramel, because um, he hadn't had them in a while. So I got two bags of so been quite a bit of chocolate. <laughs> so I'm just so happy to have these. I used to been there at college. They all used to bring me one back. Both of them did. So I used to have a lot of them, and I haven't had them since March. And that's all I'd been craving. And I was like. As soon as I saw it, I was like, you give me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a happy bunny. Um, I went in the works and I saw a diamond painting kit for £3. 
make your own diamond pitcher. So I picked that up today. Uh, I thought it was not bad for three quid. Um, I've had some in there before. I had a tulip one. And I think there was a butterfly one I done. And it's not going to come off, is it? Nope. It ain't coming off. Um, so I've got that. Kira spent her £15 on some marker pens, which she's gone off with. They were in a little tub. And they were all loads of different colours. So she was quite happy with all that. She asked, can I show her? She went, no, I'm going to play. <laughs> so she's gone off with that. I did buy in the charity shop next door sells wool oh no yarn annoying mother um they sell gusties uh this is double knitting i just got two balls of black uh to do that blanket or do me um i might get the mile a minute out because uh, it looks the same black as the um robin dk one and it's oh it's by it's quality it's got on my quality knitting double knitting but when she rang it up she said six 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 i went oh the devil <laughs> so yeah she laughed and i had some red so i've run out of red to do with granny squares and that's so i thought but it kind of looks orange but it's definitely red uh, I've got that as well and that's so uh, I've got a lot of yarn today and uh, it was just so good being out again <coughs> and um, what else did I buy I'm trying to think I think Kira got a lot she's gone off upstairs with it and it was just nice walking around we went on the if you go if you near and you go on the market they got a lovely Thai store there and we went on there we haven't seen her since March and um, she liked it because we were back again. And I had the uh, pork panang. Kira had uh, beef with oysters. I also got a green Thai curry one, which we were demolishing. And um, I said to her, I said, should we just go in noodle camp and get a load of bread? <laughs> so we went in noodle camp and bought, got some milk. Hmm. So we'd be happy stuffing on Chinese later, mind you, the pork banana and the beef with oysters when, when we were up there. Already eaten that. We were hungry and that, but no. Nah. Very really enjoyable day and so relaxed and I felt more happier and calmer up Salisbury than I did in Blanford. I don't know if it's because it's more bigger up there, but everybody got out of the way and didn't get too close towards you like they do in Blanford. So... I was a lot more relaxed up there. I've got um in the post I've got me beads, me drills. And I come home so I was quite happy. I buy them off of eBay from um Silver. And she has got her own website, I think. I'm sure she did. Sil uh, not silver, syllaba. Syllaba.co.uk on there but she's quite quick and when I need need to get some more I always get off of that because I've been doing diamond painting all week I think that's just falling down there I'll find that in a minute um and I've nearly finished it so I've got here's the camera just all that up there to do and I've got to do all the A's around the house and there's uh, some orange I've got to do and it'd be done. Um, if I'd had them yesterday, it would have been finished. But I've really been enjoying this all week. Uh, I sort of lost my crojo for a bit. I did do a crochet granny square for a little bit to get me back into it again. But I thoroughly enjoyed that yesterday. I've got, just got to do that bit up there. And then it's done. And that, so I'll be doing that. I've just fallen down there, so I'll find them in a minute. But yeah, I've got quite a lot of yarn. Uh, I was quite well chuffed, but I love those. Mm. I don't know if it's the same as the other one I got. I'm trying to, it's on this one. <laughs> I'm sat on it. Uh, it's a ripper blanket. 
I was putting all my odds and ends that I've used up and they had left over and just going around with black on it but every now and then I add a couple of rows onto it I'll just sit on it at the moment because I put this one in the wash which is normally on it's my scrap blanket and um, that was on the line yesterday it was so hot yesterday oh I went outside put it on the line came straight back indoors again god knows how they sat on Bournemouth Beach yesterday because I couldn't I would have cried just sitting in the traffic and that but now I took Sean Luke out yesterday um because Shielding finished today but with his autism I wanted to get him used to everything before everybody was out and um he was good as gold yesterday and he really enjoyed it and um he liked getting out and he went mad in Morrison's <laughs> and he got quite a lot in Morrison's and that and he's gone out with lunch with mum and dad today so I'll probably get photos of what he's having he's going into Rebecca's in town and that so he's quite happy and I said to him what will you do if they lock down where we are while you're at Nanny Grand I said oh, I'll be quite happy staying here <laughs> I said love you too <laughs> but no uh, got a bit of a break so I'm going to enjoy it uh I could flake out. I've uh, done a lot of walking. I don't know how many steps I've done. I don't know if you heard that. Girl just screamed a hoolie over the road. Um, 6,961 steps. I think that's the most I've done on lockdown. Um, but I want to play like that. I was watching one of the Diamond Payton um, YouTube tutorials not YouTube bloggers um, that Kim told me to watch and she had one of these and I thought I'm sure I've got one of those I know I've got one of those because I thought I had all the inside ones when they first come out I had the big one the medium one then the small one and then this one <laughs> don't know where all the big ones have gone my ex probably chucked them out or sold them knowing him. But the, I thought, ooh, I've still got the X one. And it's still got a lot of tape in it. But I need to get some more tape for it if I can find any. But that have come in handy with the diamond painting. Because I started doing yesterday with me book that i done from um, Crystal Craft. Um, the old craft buddy. I thought I'd keep the labels from the side of it the ones that I finish and put in my book I put down where I've finished it and who I've given it to that was the witch one it was nice I saw that at mum's today on her fire above her fireplace she really loves it that's the train one on that one and that would be the house and on this one I wish I kept the information for the um, country house that I've done and that's quite a lot of finishes during lockdown on diamond painting so that would have been one two That'd be three, four. I'm sure I've completed a, quite a few more. I've done cards as well, and that and books and that. So I thought that'd be a good idea to put them all in that. So I thought, oh, I'll have a hunt round see if I can find any more to stick in there so I can remember. And that's so why I was enjoying doing that last night, and that. But no, so I'm gonna go because I need a drink of Lucasy. I'm thirsty. I've got some apple one picked up and that but yeah no Salisbury was wasn't too bad it was quiet going in which was quite surprising um it was weird going round the roundabout going into it because the bus went straight over because we went to the park and ride um and I wore me covering fine and I had all the windows open and it was just weird seeing Salisbury so quiet <laughs> going in and I thought this isn't normal uh, it was a bit weird and that but no it was quite nice and I was quite calm Kira said she couldn't wear her covering when she if she goes back to college in September she'd have to wear one like mine because she found it too hot on the bus with it and so I said she could um, take one of the other ones up with her but no I mean I had a very enjoyable day I'm relaxed for the first time and I got tired eyes all right just flop out on the sofa and try and catch up on my sleep hmm uh, and eat chocolate in a minute. Right, I'm going to go because I'm waffling. 
and um, I hope you're all having some nice time and um, staying safe and I'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye.